Okay, so we're now approaching the end of July, and that means that Apple may soon release another update for iOS 18. The next update, obviously, is iOS 18 Developer Beta 4 and Public Beta 2. Now, before the release of this new update, I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on some of the latest bugs and issues plaguing iOS 18 as of right now. I also want to talk about the expected release date for Beta 4 and Public Beta 2 and some of the features we can expect right before we update to the next beta. Now, there's a few things happening here in regards to bugs and issues which is the main thing I want to talk about because I know some of you guys are still in iOS 17 and may venture into iOS 18 and before you do I wanted to mention there's a few issues here now Apple did fix a lot of the bugs and issues with the release of the third beta for iOS 18 alongside the first public beta which I'm happy to report but there's still several issues to talk about for example if you go to hide an application on the home screen with the new hide application features so for example you can now log press on an app and hide it right there with face ID and or touch ID some of these apps are still visible within spotlight search and the history so obviously this is something that shouldn't be happening but it is a bug within the latest iOS 18 beta 3 and public beta 1 now there's also an issue with screen time and I feel like screen time has always been broken but with the latest iOS 18 beta 3 screen time just isn't basically working at all anyone can get around the restrictions it's very buggy and it's seems broken every single time with every single beta but I've noticed within the third beta is even worse this time around now something weird that's been happening as well and this was over on reddit many users deleting their messages and coming back and those messages reappearing on their message thread this is something that I haven't encountered myself but I've read over on reddit that a lot of users continue to see old deleted messages resurfacing on their messages list inside of iMessage or the messages application and now one thing I did encounter was issues with FaceTime so every time I'm on a FaceTime call when I start initiating the call myself I find that sometimes the other person can't hear me just keep in mind that this is beta software so a lot of these issues may persist until before the official release and hopefully a lot of this stuff is fixed and ironed out before the final release of iOS 18 and now when it comes to dictation on the iPhone for some reason every time I restart my iPhone I have to go back into the keyboard board here and go ahead and enable re-enable the, the dictation and sometimes it would crash my applications it would crash within Safari within notes known issue here within iOS 18 beta 3 and of course battery life is also something that still isn't the best obviously this is beta software but the battery could be better keep in mind that iOS 18 developer beta 3 I've been struggling with the battery I always have to charge every day at least once a day so that I can finish my day with battery life so if you're expecting great battery life obviously iOS 18 developer beta 3 and public beta 1 are not the software for you to install now when will Apple release the next beta iOS 18 developer beta 4 and public beta 2 and what are going to be some of the new features you guys can expect Apple to start rolling out now this next update is going to be a big one the next beta for iOS 18 developer beta 4 could add a lot of the new features that we're hoping for such as call recording I know many of you guys are looking forward to call recording and transcripts within iOS 18 and I think beta 4 and public beta 2 will be the updates to start rolling out a lot of these new apple intelligence features on iphone now there's also obviously image playground which allows you to create custom images based on words that you use for references so yeah image playground a new application and a new service built in with apple intelligence may start rolling out in the form of beta within ios 18 developer beta 4 and public beta 2. now genmoji obviously something also available within apple intelligence may become available within the fourth beta for iOS 18 alongside the new Siri UI and Apple Intelligent updates. Keep in mind that Siri won't be fully featured within iOS 18's features like, you know, on-screen awareness and in-app actions won't be available for Siri until perhaps early 2025. We'll have to wait and see, but at least some of the new Siri features such as the new Siri UI, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking forward to, may start rolling out for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro max as of the fourth beta for ios 18 and the second public beta for public beta testers now with all that being said obviously when will apple release the fourth beta and the second public beta well if we go backwards one year in history was to repeat itself last year apple released ios 17 beta 4 
on July 25th. So if history was to repeat itself, we can expect iOS 18 developer beta 4 with a lot of these new Apple intelligent features starting to roll out in form of beta as early as today on July the 22nd. Perhaps by the time you watch this video, the beta is already out. Obviously, you can follow me over on social media, on Twitter, and obviously I'll be updating you guys with a video as well. But the beta could be released anytime throughout the week of the 22nd of July. Keep in mind that last year, iOS 17 beta 4 was released on the 25th. So if history was to repeat itself, then obviously the beta 4 for iOS 18 will most likely happen sometime during this week. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Just a quick update on some of the bugs, current issues, features we can expect, and when we can expect the next iOS 18 developer beta 4. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys. Just a few things you should know right before you update. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.